Alright guys, welcome back to Scrutinize. We're going to be doing detective mode again. There's seven nights total for detective mode. And we are going to see if we can get through them all. Is this window that's open? Yeah, this window's open. I don't need to close the windows. I'm just doing it because I don't want to hear the crickets. As always... Gonna get the desktop the way I want it. Unknown. So we are going to search female five brown hazel. About 135. I feel like you'd be able to gauge height better than weight. Some women who appeared to be luring a kid into a white van, an older man was driving it. When I went over to investigate, started stuttering like she was on crack and tried to get this kid inside the vehicle as fast as possible. Uh, she said that she had to get going because her kid was late for soccer practice. They sped off quickly. go through all these then I'm gonna pick this they thought that they were five foot so I'm gonna pick the shortest one first Cartoon, small, easy, freaking, my son will eat. Uh, soccer practice for small kids, getting my son into sports. This is probably her. And I'm just gonna shred it. And that was right. <laughs> Looking for a female five six between twenty five and thirty. Uh, brown hair, gray eyes. Claire McNeil. Claire is a horse person. She likes them and goes to check on them every day. Her boyfriend broke up with her and she, sto she stopped for one day. Her boyfriend was then declared missing. She's been acting extremely strange. People have been saying she killed him, kidnapped him, all sorts of things. I hope you can find the truth and clear her because I know she isn't a murderer. I always check the phones first. Search history. Boyfriend is missing. How to deal with a breakup. Weird bump on horseback. Cheap booze cruises. Boyfriend is missing. Shit. I didn't mean to close that. the bleep that I did wrong. Hello, I need to clear my head for a few days. I'm sorry, this isn't how I plan to spend my vacation. Thought we could have some fun. It was just a little trip to go cliff jumping. Didn't know you were afraid of heights. You ditching me. I just don't think we have the right chemistry to be together. So she got she got dumped. Saw that happen. I hope. 
Yep, Claire's an instant. Emma, very little information on Emma. I don't know her age. Female, black, brown. Wrong Emma. So Larry, there we go. She lives down the street and she's up to no good. She's been walking around the block at least five times a day, walking fast in a very revealing outfit. So she's jogging. I think she must be whoring herself out or street walking or maybe she's a drug dealer. Dude, she's just going for a walk. The hell? I yeah. My mouse got stuck. Her father went to prison once and her brother's always acting like hooligans. DOS coin yet. Search history, jogging outfit, jogging route. That's all I need to know. Yep, it was right. Unknown male six. Red. Blue. Crap, it could be two different ones and 35 to 50, so it's Jimmy. I noticed a strange man following a young woman home for the past week. Call it coincidence, but this guy's always out walking really late around the neighborhood. It looks like he has one of those fit watches that tracks how many steps you take per day. I know it reminds you when you haven't met your exercise quota. Could be why he's out walking when most people are inside. When I saw last night enter her home, the man waited in the distance, jogging in place, talking into his watch. Might be one of those secret agent spy movies. So when he talked into his watch, the whole idea of that being cool <laughs> looks so dumb. This is true. I know those things have a ton of features, but the timing was weird. Too bad we can't pull up his watch data. Dark alleyways in town, how to be discreet, how to make up with your girlfriend, where to buy dark clothing, how to- he's stalking his ex. How to be discreet. Dark alleyways in town. I got that one wrong. I probably had the- I was- he probably was stalking her, but I probably put in the wrong evidence. I wish all of them had a clear button like the sim does. Male. Brown, brown. Five, six. And since we're on detective mode, it still plays audio cues, but we can just ignore all of them. Well, crap. We're looking for someone heavy set around 220. But there's several of them. I'm going to go with this one. I work for a demolition company and recently I was tasked with cleaning out an old abandoned service building for demolition. 
A guy was lurking out in front of it, acting somewhat weird and shifty. He saw me walk up and asked me if I needed something. I told him I was about to clear out the building with my crew, and he got slightly nervous. He made me wait while he got something from inside. When he came back out, he had a big black bag. Whatever was inside of it was pretty heavy. The guy was struggling to haul it away. There was nothing else of interest inside the building, though. So if you know one of them is innocent, you can shred it without any evidence. But it looks like even if you know someone's wrong, um, you have to have the right evidence to fax it over. I should have gone through that guy's uh, phone conversations or maybe even his police records or uh, debit cards, whatever. Upcoming gun shows, best camouflage used in war. Are hollow tip bullets accurate? The amount of times a person was shot and still survived. Interesting. Going for another hunt in a month. You end as the poke shit in the woods. I'll set it up. No hunter likes to be told to call it a night by someone else. Focus on the hunt. Fingers and toes when, where they are when they drop and leave it to him to pick the best ones from my collection. Factory comes in. He doesn't leave until he gets one and makes sure he knows we don't need other Santiago. I think they're hunting people. How are we gonna go hunting again? You got to shoot with you, bro. I'm pretty sure they're hunting people. Um, there's that website, uh, I think it's The Prey, and, um, Welcome to the Game 1 and 2, where, yeah, they set up these hunts where they hunt people. So we're gonna put this in, and then... I doubt he would post anything on his social media about it, but... Go to pictures or should I go with internet searches? I hope that's right. I'm kind of iffy on my evidence. I was wrong. Okay. Or maybe that wasn't even the right dude. That's also possible. Could have been this dude. That dude. I'm not doing too well this time. Elsa Monroe. Between 20 and 30. It's female. It's blonde. Strange young woman. She just bought a house here when she was just. She bought a house here when she was just 23, and has yet and has lived alone next to me ever since. Sorry. She seems friendly yet withdrawn. Miss Monroe is always at home and does not seem to have a job. I, and now I know why. Two years ago, I saw Mrs. Monroe receive a visit from two men. One of them had a suitcase, which opened up when it fell to the floor. It was full of cash. I'm the only one that saw it.
Where can I order acid? <laughs> Tetro Tetro Toxin cocktail recipes, rent houses. Where can I order acid? I I have weird pictures on my phone too though, so I don't know if that can be considered evidence. Test conversations, boss. There's not answering, I'll take care of it myself. It's too dangerous, you're too important to be doing your own dirty work. But then it's personal. I was taking care of the wasness, so you don't have to worry. Talk about this in our special place. Took care of somebody. Was it success? It went well end of the week with with you. Don't make me wait so long again. Take care of the groceries. I like that you get I hate to discharge you like Larry. Seizure payment, I'll give me the info. Come to my house tomorrow and don't bring your friends. If you try something funny, then I'm going to hurt you. I'm be glad that you have the upper hand this time, Monroe. Shut up with your bullshit. You have lost and your little coup is finished. Now you'll pay the consequences. Nobody double crosses me. Um, okay. Female 20 to 25, brown 5, 6, 105. Holy crap. It's probably her it's closer to the weight I'm going with her Maria 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 chick who keeps popping up on my porch. It's a strange thing. She's real thin and somewhat tall, dark hair, kind of sickly looking. So it just makes it all the freakier. First time I saw her, she was sitting on the front steps. I figured whatever, it's poss it's probably some kid. And the second time, she's looking at my windows, eyes wide open, just staring. The third time, she's standing by my front door with something cradling in her hands, whispering some weird shit. She rang off when my wife turned on the porch light, but now we're scared of what she might do next time she pops up. Cat is puking, how to treat cat fever. Emergency animal hospital, amber alert, active amber alerts, house, missing persons. Missing person cases where the person claimed to be dead was actually alive. Missing person cases where they find a fake body lock picking tutorial. What the hell is going on? Cat, child, okay. So down tonight, oops, sorry, I have to babysit my little sis since mom's traveling. Oh, dude, this is like the fourth time you canceled on us. Yeah, there was a knocking on my window, but it's not going to be anything. Sorry about Jenny, I'm sorry, I know we're on our turns, but anyway, I can help. So her cat died, but what's all that other shit about missing people? Therapist. Listen to the voicemail you left me yesterday. Would you like me to do a call sometime today to talk about it? I kind of, it's okay, I think I decided what I want to do. I really do think we should do that call, if not today, tomorrow. Please, you don't sound well. I'm perfectly fine. As I'm thinking, I know what you need to do, what I need to do. What do you mean, Maria? Maria? I'll find her, no matter the cost. I'll find Jenny and bring her home. Maria, Jenny is gone. We've spoken about this. Please answer my calls and we can figure this out. Maria, just tell me where you are and I'll meet you. Maria, please answer me. Coming out to babysit, I can't baby or coming home soon, I can't babysit Jen forever. 
Hi, baby. Can you babysit for her a little bit longer? I'll be there. Promise. Mom, what the fuck? Work trips. Can't miss it. Boss is expecting me. And some time with your kid at this rate. Jen will be forget you get smelled. Yeah, please answer the phone. It's about Jenny. She's not in bed. She's with you. So your message is, no, she's not with me. Maria, where are you? Okay, so... Jenny, it sounds like it's her little sister. She... Sounds like she died, but this chick thinks that... Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have closed that. Jenny disappeared. And I get, they found her body, but she doesn't believe that it was actually her body. And she probably thinks that these people stole her. And so she's trying to break into their house to get her. Okay, I got that one right. Van Atwell is a male. With black hair and brown eyes. And that's all that we know about Van Atwell. Luckily we know his name though. You know those large fish tanks like the ones an evil mastermind has in those movies? The kind where there's a stunning variety of fish and you admire the vibrant colors the shark comes by and sucks the enjoyment right out of the scene as it eats the cute one? Well that setup is basically my, my neighbor's backyard. The guy owns an aquarium. I guess he bought some of the fish brought some of the fish home. The weird thing is is that they're in his pool. Guy must know his stuff, but he but don't all pools have chlorine in them? That would have to be bad, especially even deadly for the fish, right? Well, it may be a cool party decoration for your backyard. I feel weird not reporting this. The last thing we need to hear is one of our dogs or even a child falling into the pool and getting attacked by Van's fish. I got some DOS coin now. This is the last of the night. I'm going to save it. I've already failed on two of them. And this is exactly the kind of crack I should have bought one for. I got it. What the? Current maintenance costs importing exotic fish. How to move a large amount of fish quickly to a nearby aquarium? Should I go with saltwater chlorine for my pool? Chlorine egg. Uh, what type of food can large ocean fish eat best places to yachting deep sea fishing videos buying and selling stocks various ways to take someone out of the picture can you mix salt water and fresh water buying and selling endangered fish mr morrison would you mind joining me at the aquarium tonight there's business matters we need to discuss of course boss i'll be right over is everything okay sir Yes, I just wanted to discuss your marriage. You've done a great deal for me. I'd like to show my appreciation. Like I said, I'm on my way. I wonder if Mr. Morrison's the one in that picture of the floating body. Your associate, Mr. Morrison, is untrustworthy. I believe him to be a spy. See to it that he disappears, or you'll find yourself wishing you're back in prison. Yes, I'll see to it. Killed Mr. Morrison and fed him to his fish. I hope. Because if not, nope, he did. We're on night two. Four, yep. We're going to purchase two of those. 
Madison Pearson, female black hazel is all we have to go on. This has to be the 10th time I've seen Madison let her pomerangy and shit and not pick it up. I tried asking her to bring doggy bags and she brushed it off as not a big deal. Someone needs to teach this lady a lesson on proper procedures for walking your dog. I mean, yeah, that is annoying and illegal, but at the same time, it's like, with everything going on in the world, like, people really have time to file a police report for this shit. I spent Pomeranian. Normal amount of dog poops per day. What is a fishing link? Oh god. Yep, that's that's her dog. I think she's fine. Okay. Albert Ewing. Is a dude. He's got brown and blue. And he's six foot. gonna go ahead and crack that. I'm his neighbor. I knocked on his door early this morning because I heard sounds of screaming and fighting. When he answered it, he was sweating red and it looked like there was a scratch on his neck he was trying to hide from me. I asked him if everything was okay or if I should call the police. He interrupted me there and said everything is perfectly fine. I tried asking what the screaming was from and he just said it was private and nothing he needed to share. Okay, that makes sense. How to clear a criminal record. How to hit without bruising. Anger management courses. I'm going to check and see if he does have a criminal record. How to hit without bruises. So, he's an abuser. Police called to scene by neighbors for domestic disturbance. Ewing was highly intoxicated. Woman had bruising on her arm, which Ewing claimed was from a fall. Get that abusive SOB the fuck out of here. Alright, cool. Oh, between 50 and 60. I should probably do that for something like brown hair, brown eyes. She's around 155, so... I'm gonna go with this one. Because of the height. This lady moved into my house across the... Moved into my house across the street. Does he own both houses? A couple months ago, but she hasn't said a word to anyone in the neighborhood. She has her lights on at all times of the day of the night, and I never see her during the daytime. She gets all her groceries delivered, and I don't think I've seen the mailman leave her any mail before. A couple times a night, random cars will pull into the driveway. Whoever's in there just walks up to the door, goes in, comes back out a few minutes later, and drives off. Yeah, I, I can see how that's suspicious. Norma Metzger. Let's see how hard your phone is to crack, Norma. Thank 
God for that. Baking soda in bulk. Spanish translator, German translator. Pictures. Cupcakes. So maybe... Is that Coke or baking soda? Carlos, I need some, like, right now. I beg your pardon? Who is this? I think you have the wrong number. Don't fuck with me, Granny. I need it now. I'm in a bad spot. I need everything I can get. How rude. I've never been a so appalled in my life. Who are you, young man? I will report you to the police. Fuck it. White, super, white Star Super Muffins. What are you talking about? What muffins? Blue Sprinkles. White Star Super Muffins with Blue Sprinkles. Be here in two hours. You're, you, know the, you must know the price already. Thank you so much. Don't fuck with me, brat. <laughs> if you try anything, I'll carve through new smiles into your neck. Aren't you baked good muffins? I need 20. What muffins are you looking for? White Star Super Muffins with blue sprinkles. You can pick them up in an hour. If you know that, you know how much to bring. So, she's probably selling drugs as well as muffins. We've got an unknown male, 6'6", six, six. he's on the tall side, brown, brown, 25 and 30, and two, 240. Well damn, 240 though. He's 6'3", and 245, I'm gonna guess it's Benji. An unfamiliar man to neighbors was seen attempting to open the doors of three cars parked in front of 1371 Noble Road. Once he got a door open, he rummaged around inside and took something out before returning to his vehicle and driving away. So that sound that goes do da da do do. I make pancakes. I lose belly fat. What time is it in London? I don't know if this is our guy. Oh, maybe it is. Hey, baby, so I'm an idiot. Why is that? I need this purple flash drive for my presentation today at work. I think it's left in one of. I left it in one of my cars. Which car? I'm not sure. Yes, you dope. I can get there. Gog it. Headed over to you now. He was just getting his girlfriend's flash drive out of one of her cars. Oh, come on. Thank you. Jeez. We've got an unknown male that's 6'6", 25 to 30, and 240 pounds. Brown hair, blue eyes this time. I was riding my bike past this guy's house a little after dinner time just when the sun was going down. He was putting out his trash when I saw something red that was dribbling out the bottom. There were stains on the hem of his shirt too. He wasn't acting suspiciously though. The guy was even laughing into his phone. So why did these come up if he's 6'6"? Six, six? Dressing animal, best knife to cut. Is this the right dude? I'm not convinced that this is the right guy. Crap. There's homeless people and there's dogs.
it sounds like he's selling pet cats and dogs as meat. Maybe this is him. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mean dog bites. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this one wrong. Fresh cuts for you tomorrow. I remember you saying something about having some unwanted available if I ever need a bigger source of meat. Okay. I got it wrong. I think I had the guy wrong completely. But I could, I, I have no idea. Dahlia Jones. Oh, because she's not male. My cat's been missing for a few days, so I hung up posters. During that time, I ran into Mrs. Jones and told me that she had not seen Little John for quite some time either, even though he used to play in her garden all the time. Tonight, I spoke with a deafening—I woke, spoke with a deafening meow. I woke up to a deafening meow that sounded like my Little John. Something about Mrs. Jones feels off lately, as if she has a dark aura. I saw her paintings; they're all red, almost like blood. How do I dilute blood? Bleach prices. Drawing with human blood. Okay. Museum of Arts. Unfortunately, we have to inform you that your art does not fit into our exhibition. How dare you insult my work, though? The way you piece of. How dare you insult my work the way, you piece of shit. Alright then. Refrain from insults and calls of this kind in the future. We will inform the police. I don't care what you do. I'll be famous. Trick. Look, if you can't get me more from the blood bank, I will be forced to get some by my own means. If I get any, if I get more this week, they'll start to notice I'm losing my job for you, Auntie. You little shit. Any fucking pets that go missing are on your hands. You got blood on your hands, Sonny. That escalated quickly. So, Trick killed the neighbor's cat to get her blood to using her paintings. I don't remember what I did there, so I'm going to take that out, I'm going to do drawing with human blood, and I'm going to do how do I dilute blood. I'm going to fax it over and hope it's right. Hey! we got three more to do tonight. Preston is between 15 and 20. He's a dude. Black. Green. I'm gonna search that shit. There's Preston now. Lost Soul 19. Oh, I think I failed on this one before. I know I did this in my first playthrough. I can't remember if I got it right or not. That 
I have no cracks and I have no DOS coin. Basically, his best friend went to a different school. They were both bullied at their school. He moved, went to a different school, and then didn't want to be friends anymore because he's actually popular at his new school. How to use a rifle, How? what does it feel like to kill someone, school shootings. Bought cigarettes and bottle of water. Um, what is it? Lost soul underscore nineteen. I like how their ID card, their state ID cards, has their screen name on there. Trying to find to defend my. I. It'll be over soon. Soon they will all be silent and no one will laugh at me anymore. Alright, dope. We got an unknown male. Between 35 and 40. He's 6 foot. He's got blonde and brown. Daniel Reed. While chilling outside the liquor store, I saw a man's car speeding down Kelly Road and then turned onto Sigley Avenue. I watched as he ran a red light, nearly hit a person exiting their vehicle, and hopped a curb as he turned onto Sigley. Thankfully, no one got hurt, but even after the near collusion, collusion, <laughs> collision, completely different thing there, uh, he continued moving at a high rate of speed. I think I could hear his tires screeching as he made another turn or two in the distance. What could possibly be going on where you disregard human life and your efforts to be on time to something by speeding? Seriously, this guy could have killed someone going that fast. Car is basically a two-ton bullet. Alright, uh, melodrama there. Let's look into Daniel Reed. Let's hope we can crack his phone without needing a thing. My own phone keeps going off. It's kind of annoying, actually. does not have a police report does he have social media did I spell it right I did spell it right he has no social media I have no idea what looking up bank records would do for this something like this but you bought a grilled chicken sandwich combo he got some Tums. He got two coffees. And he got ice cream and milk. I have nothing to go on, so I'm going to shred it and hope for the best. Okay, it was right. We got one more. We're looking for an unknown female. Roughly five foot. Between Fiddy and City. Gray, blue, search, switch. Erica. I was behind this lady at the parking over her, her talking about how she had finally taken care of her husband and how he wasn't going to be a problem anymore. She seemed very confident and relieved speaking about these things until she turned around and saw me behind her. She quickly changed direction and continued her cell call out of earshot. I like to think I don't look disturbing to the point where a mere glance in my general direction would drive someone to essentially run away. Eh, I got high school vibes there. On the other hand, 
Maybe it was a secretive call not meant for strangers to listen in on. Reporting this now, it sounds less odd than I thought it was when I, f when I saw it firsthand. Just take my word. It was weird. I'm going to take your word, dude. Okay. Erica Thomas. Maybe she just doesn't like people eavesdropping. I'm pretty sure I'm screwed if I uh, fail this one. Oh, I, I could... I, uh. Some of those are so touchy. Divorce attorney, how to build a legal defense, how to disappear. Um, he did that to her, or she did that to him. And, okay, I think I'm all set. I'm actually gonna leave him. That's awesome. Do you need a place to stay? You're an angel, Annie. I'll let you know when it's final. Lionel, you absolute fucking bitch. You'll be sorry you ever mess with me. You, you think you'll find anything better at your age? You're disgusting. I'll fucking find you no matter where you go. You can't do this to me after everything I gave you. I probably, it's probably more offensive to say that last word than to say the F word. Sorry. I'll be sending this to my lawyer along with all those pictures of my bruises. Okay, he ju she just left him. Please, please just, yeah. Yeah, night two down. Did did you freeze? Oh, okay, good. Whew. All right, so we made it to night three. We're going to do that on another video because this one's getting long. Um, yeah, we'll see you back here for night three. Peace.